Hey y'all, today let's show you how to service uh, Shimano Corrado 301 DSV. We're going to start by undoing the side cover here to get the spool out. To do so you have to just simply pop it up, turn it to your left or counterclockwise and it just comes straight out. While I'm here I'm, gonna, I'm going to oil that bearing that's inside there, so drop will be good. All right, next we're gonna remove the handle and get that stack off. Undo the screw here for that lock nut uh, cover. And this one is <coughs> uh, Righty Lucy. When you get to the top, just make sure you're holding onto that handle so you don't have anything shooting up on you and this pops off like that and there's a little click plate under here when you lift that up what you're gonna see is a pin a little click pin that's inside there don't lose that under there there's a spring just be sure you don't lose it now we can take this up and same kind of deal to remove this one it's turning to the right to get it off this is the left-handed version, so it may be different on the right-handed version. Now we have four screws on the outside to remove to get that side cover up. And I'm sure that these are different sizes, so you want to pay attention to where they came from. Alright, so you have the bottom one. It took longer to come out, so that's probably going to be the longest one out of all of them. You have this one on the top that has a different head. So we know that different head one goes over here and the longest one goes here, the other two on this side. Now this should just come straight up. Lift it up like that. And let's just get this stuff out of the way first so you can see what it looks like. You have a washer here. And you have two tension washers that go into the or on top of that above the anti reverse clutch. Clutch looks good, so we're not going to do anything with it. It felt good when I tested the reel out too, so that should be fine. Alright, so the next step we're going to do is take these springs off. And we're just going to pull this pinion gear up. And now we'll go for the main gear. Let's take the sleeve off of there. And these kind of stick, so you gotta kind of rock them. And now we can take up the backup dog. And that's probably about it. All I'm gonna do for that. Alright, so these have a tendency to kind of get like a lot of gunk build up inside there. So I'm just gonna take a Q-tip. Kind of clean out inside here. a lot of green stuff. A lot of it comes from your, your line depending on what you're using. Uh, this one I know looks like it was using some power pro green so but you also get it from the water. So just clean that stuff off. Now I'm just gonna take this Q tip and run it along the top of the uh, the worm there. That looks pretty good inside there. I'm rotating the worm with this gear right here so I can get all the surface. And let me go ahead and remove this cover. To do that, you're going to remove that screw on this side. And it just pulls straight off. Yeah, there's some more green stuff. And I think that's going to be about it for it. You want to make sure there's no corrosion or rust or anything on these uh, the posts that the level or the line guide runs on. And I don't see any, so I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and add a couple drops of oil into that worm. Just kind of work that back and forth.
that also feeds into the paw so <coughs> kill two birds with one stone like that not a whole lot needs to be done here honestly uh, there's a bushing under there or under here uh, under there there's a bearing that we can oil from the back side let's go ahead and get some oil in from this side and I'm going to double check that gear there I'm sorry that bearing there to make sure it's okay yeah I think we're good there alright so before we forget let's go ahead and put this cover back on you're going to line that side up and that side up with that post there and that post and re-secure it with the screw okay so now we're going to oil some points on here Just light cleaning on this is really all I'm doing it's not a whole lot needed to be done I'm going to drop some oil here on this that bar right there and also inside that channel where that's going to ride that's how it's going to look I don't want to pop it out of there so we could also oil this point right here because that's that kind of rides on that uh, but that's about it so I'm going to clean off this backup dog it also acts like a re-engage tool I'm not going to do anything to this, to this dog, I'm just going to put it back on there. Now we can just get to the drag. You have this plate, that, uh, the drag plate. Notice there's a curved end. That curved end is going to be facing upwards, not downwards like that. Just so you know when you reinstall it. Let's see if we can pop this out. That's nice. And this wash was a little sticky, so clean that off. I'm just going to clean this stuff off and then we're going to lightly grease this and stick it back inside. I'm just going to add a very light amount of grease on this. It's, it is very, very light. And the same for this as well. And what I'm using here is Cal's uh, dry grease to do it. You can use a Shimano dry grease, uh, they're both the same thing. Now we're going to grease this gear, and you want to do a light grease on this. So I'm simply going to do about half of it. Then the other half can just remain dry, and just kind of gets worked into there as the gears rotate. Alright, so let's do the same thing for our pinion gear. Now for the pinion gear, I do grease pretty much all the surface area of it. And right there where that spool cross pin sits inside. So for this yoke, what you're going to see is, the way it's going to sit is, <coughs> there's a couple of slants or sl sloped areas on here. Those sloped areas will be facing down. So you'll essentially have it looking like, like that. I'll bring that close, hopefully you guys can see it see the slope I'm referring to okay so now we can put on this uh, backup dog and ratchet the way that's gonna sit is gonna line this up like this let's stick a little bit of grease around this post where it's gonna go and you're just gonna put it over this Uh, the shaft looking like that. I'm just going to kind of work this over that post right there. And you want it in this orientation because you have that post right there that stops it from going out too far. Now, the way to get that plate set in place to make sure it's set, which it actually already is, you can hold on lightly on that plate and rotate the, the shaft until it drops in place because it's keyed. I'm just going to stick this washer on stick our gear on there make sure it goes all the way to the bottom you can see a grease drag washer in there again that's lightly greased and again don't forget that curved end on this washer is facing up the curved end the bowl part is up 
on with that. And now we can take our pinion gear and just drop that on here. When you get to this point, just kind of work it as you turn it, I mean as you push down, because you don't want to damage these gears. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we need to do. Yep, let's go ahead and clean this off. You notice on this cylinder, there are two notches. Those two notches will fit inside the two receiving notches on that plate. Just drop it over, make sure it goes inside. And that's it for that. Now before I put the cover on, I'm going to open this up and add some oil to the bearing inside here. And a little bit right there. Now when I cover this back up, I'm going to just keep it loose at first, just to give myself some room on it. And now we can put on the springs and stick this cover back over it. Let's go ahead and secure it. Again, you have the two shorter screws going on the right side here, my right. The longer one, longest one going on the bottom, and that different head style going up here. All right, now let's go ahead and get, stick the spool back inside there. Clean that off a little bit. Those brakes you can leave alone, but I'm going to clean the spool off a little bit. If you wanted to, you could stick a light amount of grease on there, but you want to be careful putting too much on there. Dropping the spool inside, make sure it fits inside the pinion in that slot and recesses flush. You'll notice flush when this end of the spool goes all the way inside, like that. Now I'm going to grease, or sorry, oil the spring right here. So we don't have any trouble in the future. And to close it up, you're just going to go in reverse. Just make sure you hear that click. So it's locked and secured. Alright, so for the tension springs, you can pretty much do whatever you want with these things in all honesty uh, but the way the manufacturer or it comes from the factory is there's a little bit of a gap like that when you put them together that's how we're gonna leave it now I'm gonna lightly grease this the threads on this and this uh, square plate right here or block there's an indented side. That indented side will be facing up. That's what receives this spring. Now while you're screwing this down, leave that clutch plate up. Don't have it in free spool mode. And that's a good way of uh, showing you how far down to go with this. Because once you get to the bottom, it'll start turning the spool. And that's about as far as you're gonna to wanna to go with it. Right there. So now here's a little bit of a balancing act. We're gonna take our spring and stick that on. Then we're going to have to push down uh, with this star drag. Now you see that square there? That square is going to fit over that block and it just pushes straight down. So you just kind of have to play with it until you find it. And now you have to hold down on this with a little bit of force. Not too much because you don't want to bend those. And now we're going to stick our click plate on. That click, the click plate it has some uh, ridges or some holes all on the outside right there if you can see that. That's going to be facing down on top of that pin. Now we can take our handle and we're going to stick that on but I'm going to stick some grease inside here and around there where it's going to sit on top of that and also on the top where it's covered up by that cap. Now I'm going to push down on it 
find that slot and then we're just going to screw it down remember this way is lefty tidy in this scenario you don't want to cross thread these things so you want to make sure that it's flush going down all right so now on the first take i did have this spool in so i'm going to stick that back inside and as i said before the way you find out if it's or the way you lock it up is to cover that like that and then make sure you turn this until you hear that click all right so for this we want any points any one point of that nut facing that hole right there where the screw goes into will suffice I just want to make sure it's snug enough down there then you can just cover it up you want to make sure that point right there in the end that tab goes inside that hole right there and we're going to test this out in a sec but or just to make sure we did a got the real put back together properly but before I get there Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you found the video useful. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you like these mm -hmm. kinds of uh, videos. And tell your friends about it as well. Alright, so let's make sure we have this put together properly. Just going to double check the free spool. good the clutch works anti-reverse works drag drag works nicely also alright guys thanks for watching I'll see y'all next time